Hey guys, Ajax22 here, and uh, we've had the electrolysis set up running all night. Um, flipped it over once uh, a couple hours ago just to see how things were looking, and uh, yeah, it's doing a, doing a decent job. As you can see, the uh, scale's building up on the old double barrels that we had kicking around, and uh, it's fizzing away. Let me... Uh, Unplug her, pull her out, see what we got going on here. Well, it looks like some of the scale is coming off. We'll go see what this looks like after a little mechanical agitation, aka scraping it under a faucet. And then we'll be back. Alright. Ooh, that's coming right off. Look at that. Coming right off. Kind of impressive. Alright, be back. Hey guys, i uh, just going to try to show you this. It's, it's really impressive. Using the, uh, the washing soda instead of the uh, other style has, has made a huge difference in the amount of scale, etc. that's coming off of this gun. I mean, it's it's uh, tremendous amounts of this black, flaky. Uh, it's difficult to show. Um, difficult to show with one hand. I really need an assistant. To just hold the damn camera. But yeah, it's 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 amazing. Um, a lot faster than on the 1911. Uh, I'm thinking the washing soda versus the Arm & Hammer laundry detergent type soda. Uh, I thought I had washing soda before, but it turns out I had some sort of activated baking soda based uh, detergent, which wasn't the right stuff. Anyway, I'll get back to doing this by hand. Be right back. Hey guys, we're back. Got the uh, initial round of elbow grease. Um, yeah, she's cleaning up. There's a decent amount of metal left under her. There's a few things that are starting to pop out. Looks like this is the back end of that screw that uh, is snapped off on the other side. and start making out the set screw on this one. Um, I don't even know where to look for markings on one of these. I'm guessing it's going to be on the top of the barrel, which means this one's probably pretty gone. If anybody else knows where the serial number might live on one of these frames, um, let me know. I think it's usually on the butt, which we're not there yet on this one. But uh, a couple of little things. That little piece that was loose inside there, I think it actually broke off while I was scrubbing on it. Just uh, going to need to be replaced. Uh, one interesting thing is that the, uh, the trigger is fully freed and actually in working on the little spring bar. Um, kind of kind of interesting. Doesn't exactly fill me with a lot of hope as far as uh, salvaging the spring just because it, it feels very very soft. Um, a lot of the springs on these things usually are gone. I don't think I've ever seen a spring that was salvageable. Uh, whatever this thing is in the back here, looks like it's freeing up a little bit. Um, you can start making out the parting lines on the crane too. So my thought on this is to do one more round of electrolysis, then a little bit of penetrating oil, and then instead of scrubbing it down on the next one, what I'm going to do is just hit it with a Dremel with little brass brushes and see if we can get down through some of this um, crud because it seems like there's good steel underneath and we just got to get to it. So a little bit more aggressive on the mechanical action on this restoration. Um, yeah, there's, there's a gun under there. One thing I noticed was that the uh, firing pinhole, 
doesn't look to be a roached out or anything. There's a little tiny bend back here that's probably going to have to be set right. And once we get the uh, side plates, we'll see uh, what this all looks like. Hmm. Uh, the bite, the bore on this thing is an absolute sewer pipe. I need, I'm probably gonna need to get a bore light. I don't have one here, but you can see right down through the firing pin hole. Kind of neat. Front sight is uh, gonna be a little off. I suspect. But yeah, got a lot of hope on this one. Anyway, I'll uh, get this back into the dip and. Uh, probably bring you back right about the time we're doing the wire wheeling because we know what this is going to look like in the in the electrolysis have a good one